The American Broadcasting Network presents the Bill Kemp Show with Betty Hoon, Peter Hanley, the Noteworthies, and the music of Neil Hefty and his orchestra. I'm George Ansbro, and now here's our Bill, Bill Kemp. Yeah. Thank you. All right, now we're going to get the whole gang together to open our show. The Noteworthies, Betty Holt, Peter Hanley, Neil Hefty and the orchestra, and Honeycomb. Center right now. Let's give him a big welcome as he sings Special Angel. Peter Hanley.
Ladies and gentlemen, as a public service, this program periodically attempts to rehabilitate unemployed personnel people who, through no fault of their own, are in need of a job. And we have one such gentleman with us this evening. Uh, sir, will you step up to the microphone and give us your name? Mr. Harold George. Mr. Harold George? Correct. I was a pretty big man once, but right now I'm a lieutenant colonel in the Army of the Unemployed. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that, sir. Uh, what was your previous occupation, Mr. George? I was a blurber. A blurber? Yes, a blurber. You see, I made up provocative sayings for movie posters. You know, you've seen them in front of every movie theater. There's a uh, big sign with a picture on it. Yes, I've seen them. Well, I wrote the blurbs underneath. Matter of fact, some of my blurbs have been actual classics. Would you like to hear a few? Well, certainly. All uh, right. How about this one? Pagan women in a frenzy of strange and forbidden rituals. This is the tender story of a boy and his giant squid. Well, that's pretty really terrific. Uh, yeah, it is. George, I'm, 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 yeah. how is it that you're looking for a new job right now? Well, one day my director told me to do a blurb for a new picture starring Boris Karloff, Bella Lugosi, and Peter Lorre. I did a terrific one, but I don't know, he didn't think it was any good, so he fired me. Well, what was your blurb? I had it written, The Gay Adventures of Three Devil May Care Vampires and the Old Bats They Left Behind. <laughs> didn't like it, though. Well, well, now, that sounds very good to me, Mr. George. Well, you have good taste. Uh... <laughs> I want to keep your chin up, sir. Well, I'm sure that your appearance on this program will be instrumental in your obtaining another blurber position. Uh, yeah, get a hold of yourself, boy. <laughs> of course, uh, honestly, if you'd had a good blurb man at this network here, you could have given your... That'll be quite enough, Mr. George. <laughs> However, thank you for appearing on the program tonight. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Now back to our music friends, and here's Benny Holt with Listen to the Rockin' Bird. Listen to the rocking bird. He rocks and rolls while he flies around the sky. Oh, listen to the rocking bird. He's that little bumping bird. He's flying high, and here's the reason why. Oh, I rock all the day in the breezes on the branches of the trees. fashionable Nob Hill section of San Francisco. Uh, she hired an affable new Chinese houseboy, but he, she found his name too difficult for everyday use, and she said to him, look, I can't go around calling you Fu Yu Ling Tian Mi all the time. I'll just call you Russell if you don't mind. And the uh, Chinese houseboy, he beamed at her, and he said, okay, lady, but please to tell me your name again. And this society-type woman said very haughtily, I am Mrs. Eustace Tweaksbury Poppingham. And the houseboy said, well, you too long too. I just call you Charlie. Hmm? <laughs> That was written by our maestro, Neil Happy. It's an original tune. This is Kemp calling again. Into each life, a little rain must fall, and I'm your drip for tonight. 
Boy, it's coming down out there outside, as a matter of fact. And this is the program, friends, that has a message due to the fact that uh, our musicians double as Western Union boys. You know... <laughs> Dad, I told you to stay home tonight. You know, a lot of people wonder what an entertainer does with himself all day, and uh, kind of speaking for myself, I just frankly, I sit around the house and I whistle. And uh, I've told this to a lot of people. They say, you sit around the house and whistle, and I say yes. And I admit, I, I don't make any money that way, but I tell you, I got the finest collection of dogs you ever saw in your life. <laughs> Wild home I have. All of which has absolutely nothing to do with our next musical number, so let's get to it, shall we? The Noteworthies are on stage now, and here they are to sing, You Send Me. <laughs> to it. You send me. Matter of fact, we had a, a teenage girl uh, wrote in the other day and said that Peter Handley sends her. Peter Handley sends her. And, and she said, I send her too, but it's a shorter trip. So it's just a... <laughs> See, I don't know whether you've ever heard of a thing called the show plane. Now, this is on the level. This is legit. It's a, it's a fabulous thing. They provide a most exciting tour of Europe, and I'd like to read an excerpt from their advertisement, if I may. It reads as follows, and I quote, Hardly a wrinkle in your dress or your trousers as you land in London and are whisked to the plush Savoy Hotel where the show plane tour begins weaving its magic spell. Sir Lawrence Olivier, charming, suave star of stage and screen, and Vivian Lee will keep you spellbound and highly amused as well as captivated when you meet at a champagne cocktail party. When such imposing luminaries as Doug Fairbanks, Sophia Loren, and William Holden invite you to meet them for tea, you'll know that this is luxury. And the merry world goes on. Cocktails with Marie Chevalier, and then a front row center seat at the Folie Bergere. Now, that's on the level. I was actually reading from their advertisement, and, uh, well, not to be outdone, excuse me here, I must pay my gas bill. Not to be outdone on this program, we too, <laughs> we, we too are launching a show business tour, and here's what we are going to offer. Kemp's tour guests will assemble for dinner at the fashionable Central Park Zoo cafeteria, the employee's entrance, of course. Now, wait, I'll use it later. Then it's off to adventure as you're whisked by foot to the Con Edison plant, where we will personally give each guest an electric bill with your own name inscribed on it. And then it's off to Broadway and the Mark Hellinger Theater, where My Fair Lady is playing, and you'll receive a special treat during each intermission as I come out of the theater and tell you all about the play. And can there be more? Why, certainly there is more than you possibly could dream about. Put on your tweeds as your tour takes you aboard the famed IRT subway. Where there you will witness the greatest show in New York, featuring a cast of millions. It's called The Rush Hour. <laughs> All fun. And yet the merry whirl goes on as you visit an actual television show and meet a man whose voice is familiar to many New Yorkers. Yes, you will personally meet and shake the hand of the projectionist on the Late Late Show. How about that, eh? And you may even share his lunch if you're quick. And then, finally, it's off to quaint Greenwich Village here in New York, where you will personally visit the walk-up apartment of George Ansbro, boy announcer. George... 
George will take the guests on a tour of his entire apartment building as they join him, as he goes on his nightly rounds collecting trash. Now, isn't that fun? Yes, I think it is. Okay. Ah. I know what you mean. I'll bet he holds standing here. She's a doll. I wish you could see this girl. If we had one more like her, what bookends? Here she is to sing I'm playing solitaire. I'm playing solitaire with my deck of broken dreams. Each card I play brings memories of you. I'm playing solitaire because I'm all alone. You said goodbye, that's why I'm feeling blue You were the king, I was the queen But the cards were off stop The queen lost her king There was a joke there in the past So I'm playing solitaire With my deck of broken dreams I'm dreaming that you're in my arms again interesting guest with us uh, here in the theater. He's one of the top writers, top material writers in this business. And for the past 10 years, he's been writing material for Professor Backwards. Welcome to the show, sir. Uh, here be tonight. Uh, tell me, sir, how long have you been with Professor Backwards? Years 10, about, say, I'd well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what, what do you like to work with? No, I people find us the of one is he that Mind my in doubt, us is there. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't suppose you could dispute that. Certainly, I wouldn't uh, argue the point. What plans do you have for the future? Not may I again, then, and back with Professor, with stay, might I depends on it. Yes, I see. <laughs> uh, one final question, sir, if I may. Uh, what do you think of our program? One of the worst things I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Night good, and you thank. <laughs> all right, here's Peter Hanley to sing all the way. When somebody loves you, it's no good unless he loves you. Beautifully 
done, see? Beautifully done. It's a lovely, lovely number, too. Gee, that's a pretty son. So this uh, ventriloquist, he uh, wasn't able to get a vaudeville booking, and uh, what he did, he couldn't get bookings of vaudeville, so he turned to spiritualism, and he opened a medium's parlor, you see. And his first patron was a widow who wanted to talk to her departed husband. So this ventriloquist, he did his stuff, and the widow was absolutely delighted. And after the seance was over, she gave him $50, and she asked if she might come again the following week. And the ventriloquist, holding the 50 bucks in his hand, was so eager to please her that he said, Madam, I'll not only let him speak to you, but I'll drink a glass of water at the same time. <laughs> Here's lovely Betty Hope with a lovely song called I Never Felt More Like Falling in Love. Falling. 
felt more like falling in love than I do tonight. Never felt less like fighting off love than I do tonight. You only kissed me once and said me really. has come to you through the worldwide facilities of the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.